I'm Priyam Vada Singh and I'm the uh, Global Product Head for the Trade Supplier Finance Program at uh, the IFC. Well, the IFC is the private sector arm of the World Bank Group. Uh, our mandate is private sector development uh, in emerging markets. And uh, as a development financial institution, our uh, mandate is to uh, provide access to finance for emerging market companies. And the Trade Supplier Finance is uh, a global program that was launched by the IFC in uh, 2010 to uh, provide um, post-shipment uh, receivables discounting facilities to emerging market uh, suppliers, those that were selling to larger companies. Our discussions with uh, GT Nexus began before the program was officially launched. Um, IFC worked with uh, several entities to do a market research um, study on uh, the potential for such a product and um, the, um, the benefits of uh, a partnership that um, could uh, allow the IFC to deliver as much um, development impact in our financing as possible. The um, supply finance product really uh, provides um, emerging market sellers uh, the opportunity to receive immediate cash for their sales receivables. And um, the way the facility is structured is that uh, the, uh, it is uh, without recourse uh, financing up to 100% of the invoice value. Um, it allows uh, the sellers to receive immediate cash uh, on a without recourse basis and uh, with no requirement of collateral. So um, what it uh, does is it uh, increases the, um, the working capital efficiency of these companies uh, without utilizing banking facilities that they would normally have done in um, the normal course of business. Um, and also the pricing is far more competitive than if the sellers were, ha were having to rely on their own balance sheets for uh, borrowing from the banks. So uh, the, it's very competitively priced because the credit risk of the transaction is essentially shifted to the, the buyers and uh, the pricing is based on the better credit risk of the buyers. To deliver a product as efficiently as uh, possible, what um, a financial institution would want is the ease of uh, use uh, by all the parties involved. So the buyers, the suppliers, the financial institution. And technology allows that. So what um, GT Nexus provided was uh, a seamless platform on which uh, the buyers and sellers were already transacting, interacting, and um, on, uh, layered on top of that was the ability to actually finance that invoice once it has been created on the system. And it was as simple as uh, the suppliers uh, clicking a button and requesting finance. And um, for IFC to be able to electronically receive um, uh, offers for sale, to accept offers for sale, and to transfer funds in a seamless manner, just allow this to be as scalable as possible and um, in as efficient, uh, time efficient manner as possible. We have gone live today in Asia, um, particularly China and Vietnam, and um, the program is global, so uh, we're also working on similar solutions in um, South America, in uh, uh, expanding to other countries in Africa. With uh, GT Nexus, we're working primarily in Asia. We think certainly that um, though supply chain finance has been uh, around for a decade or more, uh, that increasingly this is getting uh, far more um, relevance and uh, corporates are seeing the value um, and the benefits of setting up uh, supply chain finance solutions and the benefits that technology can add to, uh, to implementation, uh, implementation of uh, the product. This is a, somewhat of a unique feature of how IFC runs its uh, supply chain finance program. We have onboarding teams. Uh, right now, they're mainly active in China, in uh, Vietnam. Uh, we reach out to the suppliers directly, um, um, all of the suppliers to approve buyers that are on GT Nexus. And we, um, many of the suppliers need some assistance in understanding the program, in how it works, uh, how it relates to their existing bank relationships, so a lot of questions and we use the program as an opportunity to also provide the suppliers with training in working capital management, financial management. We have seminars that we organize with suppliers, uh, in many cases jointly with the buyers on GT Nexus. So through that, we reach out to the suppliers and we assist them both to understand the program and as well to sign up. The business climate and culture in, in Asia in particular is that um, you really need face-to-face -face, uh, interaction. 
So we have seminars and we have one-to-one -one meetings with the suppliers. Um, another aspect is that we, as the part of the World Bank Group, we require that the suppliers meet certain environmental and social uh, compliance uh, obligations. And we, um, so they provide us copies of audits that they do on the environmental and social space. And one of the really interesting things we've seen is that they are making improvements in these areas in order to meet these compliance levels in order to be able to reach and be eligible for IFC's uh, financing on GT Nexus. And uh, that has been really one of the objectives in our program and one that we're going to continue to pursue so that we are offering uh, suppliers an incentive to improve in this area. At the same time, this is of interest to buyers because it reduces their risks uh, in, in the environmental and social space. Um, so we, we look forward to uh, continuing that program and uh, uh, continue the incentives for the suppliers to improve. The uh, Bridges event has been particularly useful uh, from a networking perspective. Uh, companies that are um, interested in issues and challenges around supply chain management and supply chain finance and everybody being under the same roof, um, talking about the same issues, uh, has been I think a tremendous opportunity to get the word out, to hear what companies need and uh, for us to be able to, uh, to talk about uh, the value of uh, IFC.